Invicare's transport and transfer stand assist slings are designed to work with Invicare's stand up lifts. They are designed to transfer residents who can only bear a minimal amount of weight in a seated position. They hook under the patient's legs and support the torso. Always check with the physician before selecting a sling. Invicare transport and transfer stand assist slings are constructed of durable materials that resist deterioration from moisture and laundering. Sling sizes are indicated on the labels. Refer to the sling chart in the owner's manual for dimensions. Although one lift will work for most residents, multiple hookup points adjust at different body sizes, it's recommended that each resident be issued their own individual sling that conforms to their weight, medical condition, and type of transfer to be performed. Before you attempt any kind of lift, make sure that you understand the resident's limitations and their ability to assist with the transfer. It's a good idea to communicate with the resident throughout the process. Let them know about each step before you perform it so that the resident is comfortable, relaxed, and can help you in any way that they can. If you explain each step as you work through it, your resident will learn the routine and become comfortable with it. Watch as we position a transport sling for a resident transfer. Begin by positioning the two chairs as close to one another as possible. Lock the rear casters on the recliner. Lock the wheel locks on the wheelchair. Move the front riggings out of the way. Position the bottom edge of the sling at the base of the resident's spine. Make sure the labels are upright and facing out. Lift up one of the resident's legs and put the thigh support under it. Make sure the fabric that is against the resident is smooth. Pull the thigh support until it reaches completely around the patient's thigh. Do the same for the other leg. Be sure that the sling is clear of the wheelchair's front corners. Position the lift in front of the resident. Have the resident put their feet on the foot plate. Assist them if they need help. Move the lift in until the knee pad is resting against the resident's knees. Adjust the knee pad if necessary. Lock the casters. Pull the thigh supports forward and attach them to the forwardmost attachment points which are located above the knee pad. Make sure you attach each strap to the lift using the same color loop. Attach the top straps to the lift arms. Use the same color loop on both sides and choose the loop that most comfortably attaches without too much slack. This will make sure the resident stays comfortable and stable during the lifting process. Attach the strap around the lift arm from the outside. Make sure all loops rest flush against the attachment spindles and are clear of the attachment knobs. The resident's arms should be outside the sling. Instruct the resident to hold onto the hand grips on both sides of the lift and lean back into the sling. Unlock the rear casters so the lift is free to adjust itself to the new center of gravity. Press the up button on the hand pendant to put a little weight on the sling. Before going any further, double check the attachment points to make sure they're properly secured. Raise the resident above the surface of the wheelchair just high enough so they clear the surface. Raising them any higher with this type of sling can result in injury. Their weight is now fully supported by the lift. Transferring a resident with a rose lift is similar. Where the procedure varies from the reliant lift is in the attachment of the straps. The arms on a rose lift have a single attachment point at the end of the lifting arm. 